well, I thought it's got a new permission, got about another 100 acres of land to have a quick look around, so uh, we'll give it a go. Lovely scenery. Well, I've got a coin ball, about six or seven inches deep. Well, I'm thinking it's a coin ball. Don't know what it is yet. It could be rubbish. Oh, Christ, it is. it's another one of them bloody bullet things, isn't it? Bullet head ball. Great stuff. Well, I've got another signal there, a little tiny signal, it looks like an half pence. But then again, there's a bit of green stuff come off it. Let's give it a quick rub. George the uh, sixth, looks like a little sixpence, little tiny sixpence. Absolutely rotted away, but little tiny little coin. Well, got another signal, looks like an apnea. Oh, it's two apnees stuck together. They look quite old, actually. Can't make them out. No, they look uh, modern. It well, not modern, but sort of Victorian time. Can't make them out at all. Just flip them over and try and see. Uh, I think I might just be able to get a little Victoria on there, but two on top of each other. Got another signal. Another little tiny coin ball. And again, judging by the size of it, it looks to be another sixpence. A bit better nick this time, George the Sixth. Tons better nick. Could probably get a date on that, 1946. I'm not up on whether or not they had, how much silver they had in them at that time, but uh, we'll find out. Great stuff. Massive signal. Check this out. <laughs> oh dear. Unchained melody. Another signal looks like a thruppenny bait. Queen Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth's so not very old, obviously. Great stuff, another one. Right, got another signal, it's going dark now and starting to rain. Big old penny. It's a George the Fifth. Can't get a date off it though, it's a bit dirty. Anyway, another big penny. I've just got a signal and I've dug this out from about seven inches and I'm buzzing with this. I've got a book of buckles at home and that looks slightly sort of Tudorish to me. So I might be just uh, letting my mind run riot, but it's just the shape, it just seems that sort of shape. I don't know. Oh, I've said it now. <laughs> Try and get it into sun, look. It's just the shape, it's just... Crazy looking, yeah, so... Yeah. Uh, right, got it now. It does look Tudor to me. We're gonna, I'm going to try and identify that anyway. If it is, it's the first one. Brilliant stuff. I've got another signal. Don't know what it is. Looks like a little badge or a little something or other. Just looked on there and it seems to say Burnley. So what that is, we're about 40, 50 miles from Burnley. I don't know what it is, oh, I've covered it up now. Clean it up and have a look and see what it is. Well I've got another signal. Looks like a small copperish coin. There. It doesn't look like it, it looks a bit smaller than that. No, it's probably an eightney, actually. George the fifth. Few and far between today. Can't get a date. It's a bit crudded, but uh, not a bad portrait. Another signal. Not very deep, about four inches, but it's really stony ground. Looks like a half penny. Oh, that's a lovely one. That. I'll just get that into the sun. Look at that. Oh, bollocks. I mean, uh, excuse me. <laughs> get that into the sun. That's a cracking little portrait of a young Victoria. Brilliant.